Great guys, so friggin' uh, there's Lindsay. She's playing something. I don't know what. Ah, oh, the doors are locked. That's okay. There's Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay! The doors are locked. Hey, Ryan! Hey, the doors are locked! Oh, no! I got it! No! Yes, it did! <laughs> Quarter of three. 485. It's it's a miserable day, both at school and outside. Check that out. She's got friggin' a jacket on, walking her dog. It's like 34 degrees. It snowed this morning. Nothing actually accumulated, but you can see some snow coming down. By the time it hit the ground, it was rain, but it sucks. Got this today. This is the uh, filters, the cabin air filters for the car, and some oil. So we'll dig into that. And do some more car maintenance. And I've got to fill up my tire again because it's been like three days and it's down and tire defect thing's freaking out. The, uh, so I got the tire defect thing and the check engine oil level and the computer's not happy with me. The computer's too smart, it knows everything that's going on. And look at this, I look, it came out from school, I looked at it, it looks worse than, worse than it ever has. So damn low profiles are hard to tell when they're low. So I'm gonna have to fill that up with the compressor that's still here. Speaking of snow, just as I say that, the rain stops and we start getting some snow. I can see the snowflakes hitting the ground now. It's 36. I would think that would be enough to not have snow, but in the upper atmosphere, I'm sure it's in the 20s and 30s and less the higher you go until you get into the thermosphere and all that stuff from earth science. But as, as long as I don't see little bits of it in the grass and landscaping, I won't flip the shit too much. All right, so I got a quart and a half of oil in, and now it's up uh, where it should be. And we got these cabin filters here. They're actually the charcoal activated ones, which are supposed to be better. They're like 30 bucks a piece, um, or 60 a piece. Here's the old ones. You can see they are supposed to look like that all the way around, and that's how much crap they've taken out of the air. Supposed to replace them every year. It's been like two years, so I got that open. It actually comes with instructions. And it says, very important, don't do it with the engine on. Well, it wouldn't matter if the engine's on. Just turn off the climate control anyways. And how do you need instructions to put air... I, I don't know. Who is that for? Oh, what a beautiful wallpaper. Yeah. Okay, got some stuff accomplished. And it's that time of the night. It's 11.52. Got the video made. Finally, the review of the um, Nutrient battery pack. I told the reviewer I was going to try to do it within the first week when I got back from California. That week was filled with nothing but catching up on stuff and school and getting back in the groove. And then last week, um, honestly, I forgot about it until Thursday. And I thought, oh, I should do that. And then I, I was busy Thursday and Friday and didn't do it yesterday because there was always somebody here. And I don't like to film when there's people here. And then there's background noise and I catch crap for it. So I got it done today um, downstairs. I would have liked to do it up here, but it was already dark and it's quieter down there. So. I got that uploaded, sent the uh, company Nutrent a link to the unlisted video so they can check that out, make sure everything's okay. Then I'll set it to public and uh, you'll see that hopefully tomorrow. Finally, all my idiot lights are off on the car now. Got the tire pumped up and the oil in and the filters. Um, they, there, there seems to be more airflow into the cabin now, which is good. I always keep the fan on level four of like 12 or something. And um, it feels like there's at least 25% more airflow. So I guess that's good. Anyways, it's got crap outside. There's a little bit of snow on the ground, like in the mulch where I can see it. Um, I don't think it's going to hurt much. It's still 34, 35 degrees. Um, and then it, it looks like we just had this cold front come in for today, Tuesday, and tomorrow, Wednesday, and then Thursday we're in the 50s and 72 on Sunday. So this won't last, I hope, but um, got paid for mowing today, so money's always good. And I'm going to end this now. It's 11.50. I'm going to go edit this, do some emails, talk to Bobby. Watch a bunch of videos and try to get to bed by, I'm going to aim for 1 to 1.30. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Um, this has kind of been a crappy week so far. Monday wasn't bad. Today sucked. Tomorrow shouldn't be bad. I've got the two hours off in the middle of the day, which is awesome. Um, except I actually have to do a lesson in the math class tomorrow. Not that bad. And then we're building um, bridges in our engineering drawing class with balsa wood. We only have 10 10 inch pieces of balsa wood. We have to build the strongest bridge we can. Well, if you know anything about engineering, you know your your uh, your secret is triangles. That's what builds strong bridges. So that shouldn't be bad, except we're using glue to put it together. And to me, I think the glue is going to be the weak spot. So you're really going to have to be careful where you put your seams and which way the wood goes. And It'll be a nice, interesting project to learn more about um, structural support and stuff like that. So uh, that's it, 485, 486 tomorrow, Wednesday. Don't know what's going on. 
another day just like this, it's going to be crappy weather-wise, but uh, we'll see what goes on. Hopefully things will look like this around here shortly. <laughs> yeah, uh, not in Ohio. All right, back to you guys tomorrow.